All right, good afternoon, everybody. Mark Jeffries here as you look at Matthew Pangrak live via Skype. And uh, this is a Monday. And we just thought we'd let you guys know what's going on this week. I thought it'd be a good idea. I know we had some issues as we wrapped up the week last week. So kind of want to give you an update. Matthew did not make it down because, number one, right here in the studio, uh, we don't have any internet. So we are working on that situation. In fact, uh, I have been in constant contact with our current internet provider. That would be Cox. And uh, we're trying to get things worked out with them. We are also waiting on a backup to show up today, somewhere between the hour of 12 and 4, Matthew, of which that would be the AT&T brand to where hopefully we don't have these situations occur that we had last week. So I sincerely want to apologize. And you take the combination, Matthew, of the serious weather that is supposed to roll in here shortly through Oklahoma, both Oklahoma City and Tulsa. Hence, we're just dealing with all kinds of challenges. You got a little internet provider competition there. Was was Cox just provide, <laughs> providing providing a, a five big gigabytes, and then AT and T comes in and and you know you you pay for every every little gigabyte for AT and T, and you're just going to see which one works out better for you. I, you know, I don't know what to say. I'll give them this much. They are trying. They're trying to do everything they can. It's not us. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with the studio. It has nothing to do with the wiring in the studio. What it has to do with is the box that's somewhere out there in the neighborhood is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. Hence, here we are with the lack of ability to upload. We can download all we want, but we can't upload. And when we can't upload, we can't do the show. So we are going to work through it. And I thought it'd be a good idea just to have a backup in place from this point forward. Hence, that's why AT&T is going to be here as long as the studio is still here for crying out loud. Now, folks, let me set this up. And Matthew, you rag on me all the time about the weather. But this is one day. This is one day, maybe the only day that we have during the year where the weather is extremely serious here in Oklahoma. Isn't it like the sixth year anniversary of the more tornadoes and they're actually expecting a severe outbreak tonight. So that's why I'm up in Broken Arrow. Yeah. You're down more. I'm staying here. I got my shelter for, for later tonight. The, uh, the closed toed shoes and the batteries and the flashlights. Yeah, I did that this morning. I even cleaned out the drains once again. But, you know, if there's an F2, F3, F4, or whatever, rolling through Tornado Alley. And where is the studio located, Matthew? That would be more Oklahoma. Yeah. <laughs> so, folks, we thought, I thought it'd be a good idea to, to give you guys an update. Uh, this week, we are planning right now to do a show on Thursday and Friday. As long as we get everything fixed... And the severe weather does not call for any issues. And, man, I'm going to tell you right now, when is Major League Fishing at Grand Lake, Matthew? Is that two weeks? I would have to look. I'm not exactly sure. I know it's their next stop. I know the Elite Series was supposed to be on Fort Gibson right now, uh, and weather uh, pushed that back to September. But yeah, it's, it, it's, it's 22 feet up. Will be the Willows on, uh, when, when the Major League Fishing Bass Pro Tour goes to Grand. All right, here – is what you may not know because you don't watch the, the weather like I do. They are calling for between 7 and 10 inches of rain in the Grand Lake area. Seven to, 7 to 10 inches here in Oklahoma City. 6 to 12. They have no idea. All right, for eastern Oklahoma around the Tulsa metro area. And, dude, if you looked at the lake levels lately here in Oklahoma, everything is busting at the seams because they can't release the water, which flows into the Arkansas River, which flows into what? The Mississippi River, who is coming out of its banks right now. We have a lot of water. <laughs> That's all you have to say, man. You don't get fired up about the weather, do you? No. Jeez, when you need like to. Get a boat in on it. Uh, that might be a little difficult. Very, very difficult. I actually went to Texoma on Sunday. You didn't even ask me that. Did you catch them? Uh, I caught 12 scorable bass. No keepers. 
I caught 10 keeper bass. Wow. And I had the hat trick. Largey, smally, and spot. That is correct. Cool. And the stripers were not doing what they are supposed to be doing right now. It's 10 feet up. There's a zillion places for these fish to hide. There was one ramp that I could use. I went to three different ramps. I finally found a ramp that I could use, and it was a little sketchy. So I, it, there, there is not a large body of water in Oklahoma right now I think is fishable. Uh, Sky took still is. How high is that? It's only like four foot up. It doesn't have like a massive major river coming into it. Huh. All right. Well, we'll see what happens after the six to 12 inches, supposedly. Anyway, uh, we've got the Major League Fishing going on at Table Rock. Hopefully we will talk about that on Thursday and Friday. We do not have guests lined up. Uh, I will be working on that. We may do a Sunline Hotline show if I can get the technology in place. Uh, Here's something else, Matthew. I actually got an email from somebody at Microsoft. How about that? Really? Like, uh, regarding what? Uh, For support, for tech support. Because I was pissed off about the whole situation with Skype. You know, I went, I got this new software. I thought it was doing everything that it was supposed to do. Then when we go to test it, for the 27th time, it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. And I ditched that, so I got frustrated. I dug and dug and dug and dug and found an email address of supposedly somebody that had answers about Skype. And I fired off the email and I got a response back. And this person showed me a little tweak on Skype to where we've got the uh, sound situation under control now. Very nice. So now they can hear me and you and our listeners. That is correct. That is correct. Without the noise coming in. You know, the noise issue that we had when somebody was calling in when they were on the line? Yep. You remember that? All right. Well, supposedly I've got that fixed. But we all know how that goes. So that's kind of the plan the remainder of the week. Uh, the other thing is, today, Matt, was a big day for us. What did we do today? Let's see if you get this one right. I have no. Oh, we dropped uh, the twenty feet deep, the the forty uh, the forty ninth classic uh, yeah. document that we shot in in Knoxville uh, a couple months ago uh, that you worked worked uh, tirelessly on to get done, and that is now available on uh, the Bass Talk Live YouTube channel as well not as yet. Bass. Not, uh-huh. not yet. Tomorrow. I wanted it to Mom? debut on the website today. Okay. And Basszone.com today. Yeah. YouTube. YouTube tomorrow. So the other thing is, is I put a little feedback thing on the page where the video is on BassOwn.com. It's just a little feedback thing. If you would uh, be so kind to fill that out, give us your feedback on uh, what you thought of it, you know, what we could have done better, what you liked, or anything else about the whole situation. So please check that out. Today it's going to be on BassOwn.com. Tomorrow it will be uploaded and will be on YouTube Uh, for your viewing pleasure all right that's all i got matthew that kind of lies out what what's going to go on this week hopefully everything will be good uh this afternoon this evening into tomorrow from a storm standpoint uh flooding a big issue because the ground is saturated along with tornadoes and hopefully let's keep our fingers crossed everybody will remain safe and uh this thing will pass and then we'll come back on and hopefully have a show on wednesday or on thursday Do what? Sounds like a game plan. Do you have a storm shelter? Yes. Really? Yeah. Frady Hall. Did you clean it out? Uh, yeah. I mean, it's at my girlfriend's house down the road. I mean, we were in it yesterday or two days ago. Was it that bad? I mean, the sirens went off. Yeah, that's time to get to the Frady Hall. Yeah. You know, that's the one thing around here, man. Those sirens go off. They're not messing around. It's not... Oh, we think something's going to happen. It's you better get in the Frady hole. So we have a game plan to place. You know what we're doing? <laughs> it's kind of stupid. We're going over. Not what you did, not what you did last time where we drove in. Doing that. Uh, we're, we're going to a friend's house that has a storm shelter, and we'll be jam-packed. There'll be uh, 10 people in one very, very small Frady hole. But that's how we roll. Bring some potted meat, some beanie weenies. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. So that's pretty much it 
folks, we wanted to give you an update. Please bear with us. We will do as much uh, information, pass it along to you to let you know what's going on this week, but just a very challenging week for us. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, anything else, Matthew? No, that's it. Uh, lots of records being broken on Table Rock this week. Uh, the, the event's only halfway over. There's still uh, two days and a couple hours left uh, in it, and I expect to see some more records maybe go down at Table Rock. Well, a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Oh. Yeah, yeah, and they're going to have to deal with this weather, too. It's not just coming through Oklahoma. It's going to roll through there, too. So it'll be interesting to see what they do on that, whether they shorten it, whether they extend it. Uh, are they going to take a weather delay? What they're going to do because that weather is definitely going to roll through tra- Table Rock too. So we'll see. All right, man, stay safe. Make sure that uh, you got everything ready, and let's ride this thing out. Hopefully, the internet will get taken care of, and uh, everybody will be safe after two really, really challenging days of weather. All right, Matthew, I will uh, talk to you on Wednesday. Sounds good. See you, Mark. All right, man. See you. There you have it, folks. Please stay with us. Make sure you check out the latest on the 20 feet deep, as Matt mentioned. And hopefully we will talk to you on the show live Thursday morning, 8.30 a.m. Central Time. That's it. We're out of here. 